Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Bleed Proof White ink today from Dr. P.H. Martins. It is pretty popular in the calligraphy community, but I was always so intimidated by it when I first started because it does have to be mixed. It's pretty tacky when you open it up. Um, and so this is what I like to do. I like to just scoop a little bit out. This is just one of my plastic um, speedball holders, whatever you have. Uh, so you can see it's like really goopy, kind of like glue. So I like to scoop it out into a empty jar and then I'm going to use some distilled water. My house, I have filtered water, same thing. Um, just if your tap water is really gross, this can mold if it sits for a long time. So I like to use distilled or filtered water or bottled water. And then we're going to just mix it about about one to one consistency and see how it goes. All right, so I have my dropper here. I always have this dropper handy when I'm working um, because some inks you just need a couple of drops to get it flowing. So I'm just going to, you can kind of see how much is in there and about how much I'm putting in. Again, it's about one to one and then I'm just going to give it a little mix. Okay, so I've mixed it. You can see that it's dripping off of my pen holder here rather than just sticking all over it. So it's a little more drippy. We're going for the consistency of heavy cream or creamer. You know, you don't want it completely watered down or it's just going to blob when you write. But if it has just enough that it's still sticking, that's a good sign. So kind of like a creamer, creamer consistency. So that when I put it on my nib, if it's like water, um, it's just going to blob up when we write. And another tip here is if you don't have what's called like a dinky dip or an inkwell holder, a lot of these empty jars that you find at craft stores or art stores will fit inside of a roll of washi tape. That's so you don't tip your jar of ink over and it totally happens. So this is a good tip to know. And then also if you're not just setting it right inside, you can do it at an angle. Okay, so I'm just going to clean my nib so it's nice and clean. We can test and make sure the ink is really sticking to it properly. So I'm using a blue pumpkin nib or a brass nib. I will link it below and also the Moblique holder. And you'll see that I dipped it up past the cracks there or the vent holes in this nib, not up to that brass flange, but just far enough past those vent holes. And as I'm testing it here, I'm not getting any Thing that's really blobbing up and it seems to be working really nicely. Also when I mentioned slanted in the washi tape holder that will kind of help you dip your pen also so you can see that I did it there at an angle. And I hope you picked up a few tips there for using the bleed proof ink with your calligraphy nibs. Really pretty easy but like I said I was also kind of intimidated when I first started of how to actually make this work. Um, and then also some of my other favorite white inks that I've started using as well is the pen white and then another popular one is that I've used as well as the Liquitex acrylic ink. So I'll link those below if you're looking for a white ink to use. Those are some of my top used ones. Thanks for watching.